a perfect storm. That's how journalists in Ecuador describe the risk out on assignment. In recent years, media there have faced letter bombs, death threats, raids and attempted killings. Take Lisette Ormaza. The reporter and news anchor says that on June 20, a vehicle forced her car off the road and into a ditch. The incident came after she had reported on claims about the possible causes of a fatal bus accident and interviewed the family of one of the victims. She also received death threats via text messages. This has been happening for months, not only to me. I had the courage to put on a TikTok video and denounce what was happening. It also happened to another colleague. Ormasa shared her story Wednesday in Ecuador's capital, Quito, at a media briefing for the launch of a report on press freedom in the country. The report, Ecuador on Edge, by the Committee to Protect Journalists, presents a grim outlook. Carlos Martínez de la Serna is program director for the Committee to Protect Journalists. Los periodistas no tienen Journalists have no way to safely report the threats they receive. They continue to be exposed to threats, harassment, problems of all kinds without the institutional capacity to stop this. Also at the briefing was Fundamedios, a local group tracking attacks on media. In 2022 alone, it recorded more than 350 incidents, a figure not seen since 2018. VOA reached out to the head of the Ecuadorian government's Communications Council for comment but did not receive a response. During a recent trip to Washington, Fundamedios chief executive Cesar Ricaurte told VOA that the group has been meeting with Ecuadorian government officials. Es que there is an acknowledgement by the authorities of the seriousness of the situation and the desire to act, even if it is not very clear where to go. But with threats to their safety, some journalists like Ormaza are leaving their jobs and say they want to leave the country. Cristina Caicedo-Smith, VOA News, Washington.